Throughout history, major construction projects like airports, skyscrapers, bridges and tunnels have often turned into financial disasters. These projects typically start with overly optimistic predictions of profit, but tend to underestimate the real costs involved. Here's our list of construction projects that cost a fortune, with some still unfinished and others overshooting their initial budgets. Let's start with the International Space Station. Originally estimated to cost $17.4 billion, the International Space Station, or ISS, actually racked up a bill of $160 billion by the time it was completed. If you think sticking to construction schedules and budgets is a challenge on Earth, imagine the difficulty in space. That's the lesson from the ISS. The project was so complicated and challenging that it started four years late in 1998, and its initial cost estimate of $17.4 billion ballooned to $160 billion. Out of that total, the US contributed $100 billion. The station's operating costs have also been substantial. The US chips in $3 billion annually. These expenses are even more daunting when you consider the station's originally planned limited lifespan, which was set to end in 2020. In January 2014, however, the Obama administration announced plans to extend the station's life until at least 2024 in hopes of maximizing taxpayer investment. Despite these efforts, the ISS is likely the most expensive single structure ever constructed. Number 2. The Ryugyong Hotel In an unlikely move for a country known for its isolationist policies, North Korea began construction on what was meant to be a luxury tourist destination, the Ryugyong Hotel, in 1987. The initiative, led by then-dictator Kim Il-sung, was apparently an attempt to outshine South Korea following its successful hosting of the 1988 Summer Olympics. The hotel was a 105-storey triangular tower made of glass and concrete. It was set to become a symbol of national pride. However, construction came to an abrupt halt in the early 1990s when North Korea's main economic supporter, the Soviet Union, collapsed. The $750 million project has remained unfinished since, surviving through the leadership of both Kim Il-sung and his son, Kim Jong-il. In 2012, there was a brief spark of hope when a German hotel firm announced plans to manage the property, stirring speculations about its opening. Yet this hope was short-lived. A 2012 inspection revealed that the interior was still just bare concrete with exposed wires far from completion. Despite never hosting a single guest, the Ryugyong Hotel has become a distinctive feature of Pyongyang's skyline earning the city the dubious title of having the world's tallest unoccupied building. Number 3. Montreal Mirabel Airport In 1969, the Canadian government announced plans for a massive new airport near Montreal, a project Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau heralded as a project for the 21st century. However, the reality fell far short of expectations and the airport barely made it to the new millennium. The government reserved 100,000 acres of private land in order to make room for the airport. It was more land than the entire city of Montreal. This process displaced nearly 2,000 residents and cost about $140 million, nearly eight times the initial estimate. The construction costs themselves soared to around $276 million. Mirabel Airport opened in 1975 but quickly faced problems. Disputes between national and provincial governments stopped the building of a key highway and a fast transit line to connect the airport to Montreal and the nearby Dorval Airport. Located 31 miles away from these key points, the airport was hard and costly for travelers to reach. By 1988, it was only handling 2.5 million passengers a year, much less than the 50 million originally expected. In 2004, airline operations at Mirabel ended. There was once talk of turning the site into a water park, but that idea didn't take off. In 2014, it was decided to tear down the expensive, unused terminal, which was costing the government $28 million a year in upkeep. The demolition was finished in 2016. Number 4. The Millennium Dome 
The Millennium Dome was a major headache for the British government, but it turned into a profitable venture for its new owners, AEG Entertainments. Originally built as a grand structure to celebrate the new millennium, it quickly became a source of embarrassment for many in London, resembling a giant, unwanted white elephant. The project was plagued with issues from the start in the mid-90s. Costs soared as construction progressed, leading the British government to shell out more money than anticipated. The final cost to build the dome was $1.1 billion, about £789 million, overshooting the initial budget of £758 million. Moreover, the dome struggled financially early on. Ticket sales only brought in £189 million, about $320 million, against a projected £359 million, coupled with annual maintenance costs of $41.3 million, about £28.4 million. This turned the Millennium Dome into a costly disaster. However, this story took a positive turn in 2007 when the dome was sold to AEG and renamed the O2 Arena. A new 20,000-seat concert arena was built at an additional cost of £600 million. Number 5. The Big Dig in the early 1990s, Boston faced a major traffic headache. The city's central artery, the main highway running through the center of the city, was jammed for 10 hours a day, causing an estimated annual loss of $500 million to the local economy. The Central Artery Tunnel Project, commonly known as the Big Dig, was started in 1991 to tackle this issue. This ambitious plan aims to replace the congested six-lane highway with a more spacious underground road featuring eight to ten lanes. The Big Dig also included building several major bridges, roads and a tunnel beneath Boston Harbor, tagged as the most expensive construction project in US history. Originally scheduled for completion in 1998 with a budget of $2.6 billion, the project stretched on until 2007. The costs skyrocketed to $14.8 billion. However, when considering the interest on the borrowed funds, which won't be fully paid off until 2038, the total expense of the Big Dig is estimated to reach $22 billion. While the project has undoubtedly sped up traffic flow in downtown Boston and improved the city's aesthetic, it has also faced criticism. The enormous expense covered by taxpayers has left little funding available for repairing other deteriorating roads and bridges. Traffic congestion has also now shifted to the areas outside of the city's urban core. Number 6. The Channel The Channel, also known as the Channel Tunnel, consists of three tunnels each 50 kilometers long, running beneath the English Channel to connect England and France. After six years of construction, it was finally completed in 1994. The channel's final bill of $21 billion was an astonishing 80% higher than initially estimated, making it one of the most costly construction projects ever undertaken. The funding for this massive project came from private sources, including bank loans and the sale of shares to the public. Unfortunately, the original shareholders ended up losing most of their investment due to the project's financial overruns, leading to significant trouble for the company. In 2004, these shareholders voted to remove the Eurotunnel board that was overseeing the channel's operations. By 2009, after a financial restructuring, the situation improved and shareholders finally received a dividend. Despite its rocky financial start, the channel has been a remarkable success in operational terms, drastically reducing travel time between the United Kingdom and France to just 35 minutes. Since its opening, it has served over 325 million passengers. In early 2009, a new rail link was also opened connecting London to Folkestone, the British terminal of the channel. This extension cost was an additional $13.8 billion and it became the largest single construction project in British history. Number 7. Sagrada Familia Cathedral The legendary Catalan architect, Antony Gaudi, had a grand vision for a cathedral in the heart of Barcelona. He imagined the Sagrada Familia with towers adorned with sculptures of local fruit and a central nave designed to resemble a forest 
spacious enough to accommodate 14,000 worshippers. Construction began in 1883, but by the time Gaudi tragically died in 1926 after being hit by a streetcar, only 15% of the cathedral was completed. The project faced further setbacks during the Spanish Civil War, when shelling destroyed the room containing Gaudi's notes and designs. It wasn't until 1952 that construction resumed. Progress on the cathedral has been slow, hindered by its intricate design and reliance on inconsistent funding sources. Unlike the other massive projects mentioned, the Sagrada Familia is uniquely financed through donations and ticket sales alone. It has become a major tourist attraction, earning $40 million from ticket sales in 2011. Juan Rigol, the president of the building committee, optimistically announced in 2011 that the cathedral might be completed by 2026, marking the centenary of Gaudi's death, or possibly in 2028. At this stage, the total cost of the 170-metre-tall structure remains uncalculated, but it continues without burdening taxpayers. Number 8. Panama Canal Expansion when the US built the Panama Canal in the early 1900s, it was a feat of engineering that overcame enormous challenges, including mudslides and malaria. Fast forward to a century later, and the canal was set for a major upgrade aimed at accommodating larger vessels and doubling the cargo capacity for the Western Hemisphere. However, this ambitious project encountered its own set of challenges, not from nature, but from man-made disputes. In early 2014, a significant disagreement arose between the Panama Canal Authority and some European construction firms. The contention was over who would absorb a $1.16 billion cost overrun. This disagreement led to a two-week halt in construction. Both parties eventually reached a temporary financing agreement, allowing for the work to continue. The expanded canal was finally inaugurated in 2016, with the final construction costs totaling $5.3 billion. As for whether the expansion has proven beneficial, the final verdict is still pending. Well, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds and see you in the next one.